everybody. Let me just get everything ready. So now I can see who comes in and what the chat is. Whoa. There we go. Just make sure that the chat is live chat. There we go. All right, so that's all set up. Well, a very happy Wednesday night to you. It is Wednesday, right? And yes, yeah, so as you can see, we're going to do the string dip technique and we're going to do a feather. <coughs> Excuse me. So before I came live, I was just curious. So I went back and had a look. And the first time that I shared my feather idea using the string dip technique was in June 2018. That seems so long ago now. It's like nearly two years because it's what April, May, June. Yeah. So that was all good and fun. So I thought what we'll do here is this isn't what I planned to do for tonight. I did um, have planned some alcohol inks, but I I couldn't find them. <clears throat> it was like going on a bear hunt. Couldn't find anything. Um, so I thought, right, do something else tonight and search for them tomorrow. So I was a little bit disappointed at that, but good morning, Doris. How are you going? A little bit disappointed about the alcohol inks, but you know, sometimes it's what comes from when you have to change things up that are the most amazing. So let us see what happens. So this is just an 8x10 canvas and I'm still out of push pins so I've taped up the back but I've still got it up on old lids from my tubes of paint so I keep them. Okay we have I use 8 ply wool this is a very general acrylic wool that you can get in most places. I thought I'm going to do them this way. So, still waking up. Oh, have a coffee for me, please. Sounds amazing. So, I, don't, I normally reuse my string, but tonight I'm feeling like I want to cut some extras. just to have them ready in case. All right. So that's pretty much it now. It's time to get into pouring some paint. So, all right, hello everybody watching. Thank you so much for popping in. I really appreciate it. Oh, so before I go any further, I'll just say like that. Thank you so much for coming in. May you be inspired, learn something new, or simply just relax while watching. So, just spreading the white around now. So the white is my spring brand white house paint. It is a low sheen acrylic interior house paint from Bunnings. 
we go. I forgot to rip off some paper towel. And I don't have my cloth ready. So. There we go, that should be plenty. So Doris, I went looking for my alcohol inks to do an alcohol ink piece and I couldn't find them. So <laughs> I'm going to go searching some more tomorrow to find them. Alright, so the white looks great. I'll just run the torch over it. This is a kitchen torch, a chef's torch. That's just to clear away any bubbles. And then down here. So my my paints tonight are crimson and titanium white mixed together to make this pink. This is purple lake and titanium white. Cadmium yellow hue. And this one is a mixture, I think, cobalt blue, emerald green and titanium white to try and create a turquoise so all those paints are from creative place this one here hi mum thank you and this is from semco this is the gold so that's the only different one there so i'll just create a space where i can Put down, actually, yeah, I'm going to go, wipe this white bit away. So you don't need a lot of paint when you're doing these kind of techniques. So I'll choose, and I like to fold it over my string so it's folded, place it down. And then put little bands of colour over it. So that's the pink. I want to put the yellow next to the pink because sometimes when they mix, they create a really nice kind of apricot, orange, um, beautiful colour. But it just depends on how much of each mixes with the other. So this is a mixed turquoise. This can go there and Put a little bit more yellow and just pop that. Make sure that string is well and truly in the paint. There we go. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you have the same problem when you clean your studio. Yeah, I, I completely get it. Right. So with the gold, I'm just going to do a squiggle. And think about where I want to go first. So I think I'll go, I don't want to go completely in the center, so maybe just a little off center, a little to the right and left. Sounds good to me. So. And lift that string up. And you get the wobbles. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Really good. So now, lift it up a little. 
leave room for the is it the quill of the feather dragging it out and lifting it up at the same time sweet that looks great and this is why I say I reuse my string because I'll squeeze it through my fingers out onto the table and then lay that same piece back into the paint. So I'll find the spots where it's all the turquoise, push it in, find the spots where it's all the pink, push it in. Alright, so now we'll come in and do this side. So there's no silicon in this, any of these reactions. Let's have a look. That's from the paints and the flow troll. I might actually leave you there. You know, slightly closer. So laying the string back down along that same edge. Lifting it up at the base, coming around and lifting up, pulling as we get to the top. With that string, run it through the center There we go. Beautiful. And then I would just use <laughs> a back of a paintbrush. Because I use that a lot, don't I? They come, they're so handy. And just create some little light scratches, light wisps at the base. Maybe this one come around a bit. And up. There we go. Uh, Doris, this is Australian Floetrol. I can only show you the back of the bottle because this is my one that I removed the label when I mix up my white paint. Okay, yes, awesome. Okay, back to another string, a fresh string, which I don't normally do, but I'm going to see how it goes. Should push those paints in from the side. A little while ago I was working on a what do you call it? Kind of like a tool to uh, lay the string into. Um, yeah, <laughs> no problem, Doris. Ask me anything, I'll, I'll help you out with whatever I know. So just putting a little bit of paint into areas that I think some color is missing or it's blended too much or anything like that. A little bit of pink up here. So I think we'll go a little bit more this way again before we do this one. 
Oh, the gold. I'm not sure we can see much gold in here. Oh, a little bit in there. But more so it'll be, it'll stand out when it dries. Because it'll give that shimmer. Okay. Bit of an angle for this one. Right here. Out and pulling the string up at the same time. Beautiful. Squeeze off the string. And lay it back down. Right, so for those who have come in a little more recently, um, what I discovered earlier tonight was that it's been nearly two years since I shared my string dip feather. So I thought, why not do it again? So, swerving in my lane. <laughs> sure, how long should your chain or string be? Also, jewelry makers own plenty of chain and or string. Curious. Um, Swerven, thank you for coming in. Uh, I appreciate that. It's how long you need it to be. And I know that's not an answer because there is no specific answer. If you're doing a really big canvas and you just want to do one feature feather in it, well, then you need the amount of string or chain, probably the length of that canvas. And I mean, you don't have to use all of it as well, because I've laid all that down, but I'm going to pick up this last bit to create the quill before I raise it up. Might have to do a touch up on that one. So there. I have two options with that. You love the channel. Thank you. I appreciate that. Just bring that in. So really just bringing some of that white in so you can see just just that okay fantastic I love Doris's channel too. Doris has inspired me to have another go at alcohol inks. I've been, I've done them before, but most recently Doris has done some. And it's just reminded me of what I like about the alcohol inks. There's this white bit here too. So this bit here, this solid colour of paint, because it is so solid and as the string has come out we've created the reactions. So I'm just going to coax that off. Go. And because I was so focused on fixing up this bit down here, 
I forgot to run the string back through. Here we go. You're still learning alcoholics yourself. You're happy. You can inspire me, of course. And many others, I'm sure, Doris. I have no doubt. Okay. Again with that, I just coaxed off. Oh, sorry. You were too close. All right. So now we'll just do the one over here. Hello, Kathy. How are you going? TN. What is TN, lovely? So I'm not going to use this new string for the third one. I'm going to squeeze off this one through my fingers nice and tightly and put this one back in the paints Way up because <laughs> I am in Australia, so some of your initials I don't know. There we go. Just a couple of spots there, another squiggle of gold. one see if we can do this one almost full size so pulling out lifting up as I go because what you want is for the string to slide across the top of the background color Bring that down. So TN is Tennessee. Ah, oh, thank you very much. So you can see by the end of it that some of these colors get quite muddy. When you want to do multi multi-colored feathers so bringing that down now right. lift it up just that little bit and start pulling outward and up There we go. Put that down. Wait till I show you those. They look pretty. Come back through the center. Beautiful. I love how they have all come out. Thank you, Kathy. Um, with the color here coming out with all the reactions color reactions color reactions it's awesome I'm really happy about that 
So I just want to come back to my paintbrush. Where is it there? Create some little wispies. I always just wipe it off in between. Come up and around. I'll grab some of this green because some of those, these ones here are the palest of yellow. some random wispies up there we go all right swerving I've been doing this for almost three years and I'm always amazed at what acrylic paint can do so much fun I love it that is perfect like I love that I, I do the possibilities are endless so there's an absolutely amazing spot here Want a bit of colour that is very rainbowish. So. Thank you, Anne, and welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Give it a go, Swerven. Um, doing videos, it is different. You can, without realising it, you can actually put a lot of pressure on yourself. So try not to do that. <laughs> Just going to reduce. The length. There. Here we go. I'm loving what those colours did together. So. Yeah, that's you know there are a very there are many uh, Facebook acrylic pouring groups. Swerven, if you are on Facebook, you might be able to get some um, tips and suggestions or even share your art in there if you're comfortable with doing that. <laughs> All right, that's awesome my there we go just trying to soften that crazy we're all crazy in our own little way I'm sure okay all right let's run the stick around 
remove any drips from the underside. Then I'll bring you down, give you a close up, and we'll sign off for the night. And hopefully tomorrow night's video will be alcohol links. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, swerving. Yes. That sounds amazing. Give it a go. Doris, gorgeous feathers, Tracy. Thank you. All right. So I can actually reach camera where it is right now so I'll be as gentle as possible bring you down let's have a close-up so this is the view that I was seeing the final feather here and you feel like this area very rainbowy This was the first feather. And I love how you can never guarantee the shape of the feather either. And the second feather, oh, excuse my stomach, my gosh, I must be hungry. There we go. All right, so there you go. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. So there we go. That. Oh, Swerven, you're very welcome. Yep, Doris is Doris at DF Designs. I'm sure I'll see you over there watching her channel. <laughs> So thank you very much. Bye Angie. And take care everybody. So I'll end that as usual. Coming up to be kind, be creative and be fabulous. Bye.